Hi, my name is Jake Vossenkemper. I'm the agronomy research lead uh, for LiquiGrow. Um, and today I have two objectives. Number one, I want to discuss this recent meta-analysis review article of NPK ammoniated fertilizers when they're either banded or broadcasted. And then I want to discuss some of the research trials that we're doing locally in Northwest Illinois and Eastern Iowa. In this uh, review article that was published in Field Crops Research in 2016, they summarized many research studies uh, published in academic journals uh, from 1985 basically until present time. So there's a large summary of research trials where ammoniated NPK fertilizers were either banded or broadcasted. They didn't just focus on maize and soybean or corn and soybean. There were many crops uh, that they looked at in this study. The authors were interested to find out uh, what effect banding versus uh, broadcasting NPK fertilizers had on the yields of all these crops. And average across all crops in their meta-analysis, uh, they found that the yield of the crops were increased 3.7% uh, from banding uh, versus broadcasting NPK fertilizers. They also found that the nutrient uptake increased 11.9% when fertilizers were banded uh, versus broadcasting. Now, because corn is such an important crop, uh, they did focus quite a bit on corn in this study. And they had 408 paired comparisons of banded versus broadcasted ammoniated NPK fertilizers in this review paper. And they found that yields were increased 4.5% uh, by banded versus broadcasted NPK fertilizers, and nutrient uptake increased 12.2% across 408 paired comparisons. So that's kind of the two important points of many, many, many important points that the authors made in, in that publication. The other thing, you know, besides the important points, uh, the authors speculated quite a bit why banding NPK fertilizers increases yields and nutrient uptake over broadcasting. And one of the things that they cite is that there's been studies that have shown that banding actually reduces uh, chemical and physical tie-up of fertilizer nutrients in the bulk soil. The other thing that they discussed is that when you band NPK ammoniated fertilizers, particularly with the nitrogen and phosphorus part, uh, roots will proliferate into that zone of high nutrient concentration. So they'll grow into that zone. And not only will they grow into it, there'll be a larger number of roots in that zone. But with broadcasting, there's just never a high enough concentration of mineral nutrients to cause that root proliferation. So that's, those are two things that they discussed fairly commonly in that publication of, of the rationale for why banding NPK increased yields. So, you know, here at Liquid Grow, I'm the agronomy research lead. I have five trials in, in our territory specifically looking at banded NPK fertilizers uh, versus broadcasted NPK fertilizers at the same nutrient rates. Five locations. One is at Roseville, Illinois, where we're at today. Um, we've partnered with a grower there in Roseville. We've partnered with growers um, at all of our locations. In this case, I applied the NPK fertilizers. Um, we, we are planting this trial and the grower will harvest the trial and he'll, he'll get the results. So looking forward to sharing with you the results. Now I'm going to put that publication on www.liquidgrow.com, our website, under the resources tab. I encourage you to uh, read it in its entirety. So thank you for your time.